We begin tonight with an NBC 15 News reality check. Pritchard Police now investigating an alleged beating at a local group home for mentally disabled patients. It happened in 8 Mile on Myers Road back on June 14th. NBC 15's Rachel Wilkerson has been investigating the story. Detectives tell her this is one of the worst cases they've seen and they don't want those involved to ever work in another group home. That's right, Kim. Group homes are supposed to be a place for protection. In this particular case, a place where mentally challenged residents can get some help. Pritchard detectives are now investigating an alleged beating at an eight mile group home. This picture shows the back of the 25 year old victim whose name we are not releasing. Pritchard detectives say he was allegedly beaten in this JLW group home on Myers Road. He did have a black eye to the, on the left side, multiple abrasions about his body. He also had a cut to the back of his head, and I believe, and maybe on an arm somewhere. Lieutenant Robert Martin with Pritchard Police says the victim also has puncture wounds and bruising on his neck. A family member removed him from the group home and contacted Pritchard Police. And he also spoke with the caregiver, which is named Miss Latoria or Lataria Gildersleeve. She's a 43 year old black female from Moss Point, Mississippi, and she was working on that day. Lieutenant Martin says Gildersleeve and the victim got into some type of dispute before she called her boyfriend to assist instead of calling the police. He got upset about the fact that his family couldn't come and visit him, and I, I don't know what in, ensued between the two of them, but at some point in time, she reached out to her boyfriend. He ended up coming to the premises, and he and the victim in, in, were engaged in a physical altercation. Martin says Gildersleeve was fired from the group home. So that's a plus on that side. Today, we knocked on the door looking for answers. Knock, knock. The employee told us she wasn't working when the alleged beating took place. She then called her manager. Hello? Hey, Miss Adrian. Hey. Uh, um, News 15 is here. Uh, they're at. No, she, they said no comments. She told the employee to shut the door. We then called. Outside. Hey, this is Rachel Wilkerson with NBC 15 News. Hello, hey, this is Rachel Wilkerson with NBC 15 News. I'm looking for your owner. We were hung up on every single time. Pritchard police say this is the worst assault it's seen on a group home resident. And for them to just get to this state to whereas, you know, they call in other people there to beat up a person, a resident who's who's attending there. I find that to be a coward way. The victim is recovering tonight. Pritchard detectives are still trying to identify former caretaker Lataria Gildersleeve's boyfriend. If you have any information, you are asked to contact the police. This case has been turned over to the district attorney's office. We, of course, will continue to follow it. Greg. NBC 15 News is committed to holding those in power accountable and investigating issues that matter to you. If you see any issue that's impacting you or your community, we want to know about it. Call our Reality Check hotline. It's right there on your screen, 877-315-7268.